Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jenny Jess and welcome back to the Art Survival videos. So, I have seen some questions as well about, you know, strange mushroom. What are the, you know, the main use for strange mushroom? Because there are quite a lot of them, right? There are nine types of strange mushrooms and I would say they are still quite easy to get. And I guess in this video, I will actually try to explain, I guess, um, you know, every single one of these strange mushrooms and what uh, their potential can be, right? Uh, obviously, not all of these are useless. Some are, but I guess, yeah, we'll just explain uh, that later on. Also, I'm going to explain about how do you get this strange mushroom, right? Because... There are actually some biomes that you can get this from and only on that biome as well. There are no NPC trader that sells this kind of stuff, I don't think. Um, I'm also kind of not sure if you can sell this to the buyer as well, I'm not sure. But um, if you can, I would say do not uh, sell this to the buyer, just sell some carcass and that's about it. Um, Instead, you know, just collect this. Also, you might want to use some. Um, okay, so first, from how to get this strange mushroom. Uh, right now, I'm in um, to the northwest of Chelyabinsk. There is actually this patch area over here, which has um, radioactive forest over here, as well as radioactive swamp over here as well. As you can see, radioactive swamp. So this radioactive biome will give you radiation, um, you know, per hour. And in this case, because this is Chelyabinsk area, which is, you know, the end game area. Um, these two biomes can give you like this plus 19, this also plus 19 uh, radiation per hour. That also because reduced by 3 as well. So it will be about 22 radiation points per hour. Um, so you might want to be careful when you want to search this kind of area, right? Um, and uh, as you can see over here, I have my tent, right? But if you, if you can see over here, there is no radiation resistance. Um, it means that, you know, I will still get radiation points even though I am inside a house, right? Or, you know, inside of base or something like that. In this case, the tent. Um, if you want to have a complete radiation resistance it will be this uh, wooden house wooden house actually gives you full uh, resistance as well as dugout as well as you can see over here radiation resistance 100% it means that you will not get any radiation points whatsoever in this area although if you ask me um, I can see that this will get nerf in the future uh, so the radiation, radiation resistance will not be 100%, like instead, you know, the dugout will be at 25%, and then uh, the wooden house will be like about 50%, and then, you know, the brick house will be at 75%, and then if you have maybe this building over here, brick oven, then you can also get extra 25% radiation resistance, right? Um, so yeah, that's just uh, my, you know, my take on that because uh, dugout has 100% right which is the same as brick house as well I think you know it I think they will eventually think that um, you know just because you stay in house doesn't mean that you are totally you know free or uh, safe from the radiation points in the wasteland right uh, that's just how it is I guess um, so yeah anyway there's that um, that's uh, radiation forest and radiation swamp. There's also radiation uh, wasteland over here as well, which also gives radiation point as well. Um, but yeah, so the two main biome will be in radiation forest and radiation swamp. Now let's actually sim simulate, um, you know, how to get it. First, you press the search button over here, and then you know, uh, just press the search until you know some text over here shows something like, um, you know, like a there will be something like strange mushroom or something like that uh, nothing over there okay still nothing let's search again still nothing still nothing oh i'm actually quite high on radiation points already so you might want to have um again either the house right 
the dug out for instance um actually let's build now just because uh yeah oh i it's already been here okay so now let's go out and then go back just like that and i just removed my uh you know radiation per hour right now let's search this i guess just press search okay here we go a strange mushroom that probably mutated after exposure to radiation so it is just a mushroom but it mutates right not only the animals that can mutate like you know the lynxes the wolves the bears birds, etc but can also the plantation in this case um mushroom right or should i say the fungi right um mushroom it got radiation and uh, it mutates and um i know there is no you know like symbol over here so it would be better if the developers actually give a little bit of uh, you know mushroom icon over here like strange mushroom icon so that um you know people don't uh, skip this right uh, that would be a nice thing to to have like a nice change in my opinion um just have any sort of icon right just like any other stuff now if you have this text over here a strange mushroom that probably mutated after exposure to radiation you press this collect button over here and just like that you got yourself strange mushroom in this case this is the cyan one um yeah like you only you, only, you will only get one out of nine uh, variations um so it'll be a little bit difficult i would say to collect all of them but it should be not that difficult since it kind of is quite uh, common to find those. So let's see, this is the first, right? After that, uh, second one, still no, third, no, fourth, no, uh, fifth, uh, yeah, just like that. Uh, after the fifth one, we got another one, right? So it's not that difficult to get if, uh, you know, in my opinion, anyway, um, you just spend five times of you know searching i guess that's about what is it like an hour i think in game or something like that but yeah a uh, strange mushroom that probably muted it okay let's see now what color we get let's collect and we got ourselves the yellow one okay yellow one's quite interesting uh there are two reasons i would actually explain later on after this um okay let's do another one so this is one number two yeah as you can see over here right uh this is for the blood red mold blood mold um you know like uh, there's icon right uh there is also another thing as well like uh this one the amanita also this is the fourth roll i guess uh the amanita over here this is also a mushroom i guess um but you know it is it has the icon right it will be best if uh the thing you know the moss as well um it has icon as well right uh this is seven eight nine uh oh i got encountered okay that's the tenth one i guess uh let's auto battle that and continue 11 12 13 uh 14 15 16 17 18 okay the time we got nothing 18 9 19 20 21 still nope okay I guess it's not that common then but um i feel like it it's kind of common uh in a way that if you don't expect that or uh, if you don't expect this to appear or you know just casually pressing the search button i think they will eventually you know uh, refill itself right um don't know why i haven't got okay so here we go that's about like probably about 30 times right okay so the closest uh the list i guess uh, so far was five and then after that 30 right so you know um there will be you will need a lot of data for this one right okay let's collect again let's see what we got we'll, what we will get this time previously we got the cyan one and then the yellow so let's see uh we got the red one okay this is also interesting as well uh, my favorite probably um okay so yeah that's probably enough example so that's three right in the radioactive swarm now let's go to the radioactive forest and see you know like uh do the same right um let's search okay we got honey over here i probably want to collect this one just because it is honey uh it's quite useful as well um okay we got uh what is it uh deadly nightshade i think uh let's search just keep searching yeah as you can see right there uh, most of the items has their own icons 
like the honey, the deadly nightshade, and then this um, radiated mushroom, I think, uh, radioactive mushroom or something like that. Uh, and then let's search again, and then these logs over here as well has its own icon, and then the nettles as well, you know, like um, uh, and then bones as well. Uh, in my opinion, I feel like there should be icon for the what is it? The strange mushroom as well. Um, okay, it feels like we're not getting anything. Um, okay, that's quite odd. Um, the last time in the old version, we can we could actually find those strange mushroom in radioactive forest, but apparently not in this version. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's actually try a little bit more. Um, Oh, okay, never mind, just because it's got just like that. A strange mushroom that probably mutated after exposure to radiation. So the text always the same, right? Uh, when you see a strange mushroom, then that's just basically it, strange mushroom. Uh, okay, let's now collect and see what color we get. We also have the green one. Okay, so that time we got one cyan, one yellow, one red, and then now green, right? Um, and yeah, like we got 4 out of 9, which is quite lucky, I would say, because... Oh, I skipped that. I think that was 1 as well. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, just like that, right? Because there is no um, icon. I feel like, you know, like people think that there's nothing over there, right? But um, that's not the case. And what you should check is that uh, this collect button over here. If this collect button, um, if this is blank, but this collect button is showing the green color that uh, you can press just like this, it means that uh, there is something, right? So yeah, that's a little bit of tips as well. If you want to find this strange mushroom, um, make sure that you see the blank over here and then you see the collect button. If, you know, if the collect button is on, you can press, it has bright color, then you know you just press collect and you get yourself oh we got the purple one okay interesting um let's do one more time i guess oh i keep getting encountered i guess it's fine i'll just auto auto battle all of them i guess let's search again uh okay nothing nothing uh nothing still no 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 nothing okay that Apparently, it took a little bit while, well, never mind, we just got another one over here, let's see what we get this time. Uh, we got the blue one, okay, so we got six, and six of them are, you know, different, right? Uh, sometimes you can get, you know, if you're unlucky, I would say, then you can get, for instance, this blue one, and then the next one you get another blue one, and then keep getting another, you know, blue strange mushroom, right? Um, so, yeah. <coughs> So that's how you get this strange mushroom. I will actually uh, remove all of these first so that you know you can kind of see the strange mushroom only, right? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to put it there. Uh, let's go out here and then let's drop and let's go back. And yeah, there are nine types. The first one is, you know, all of these has strange mushroom except for the last one, which is this one. This is called mushroom with eyes. So it's a little bit odd as well, right? I'm not sure why they make it, they made it that way, you know, the eight of them literally just called Strange Mushroom, right? But why is it that the ninth one, you know, the last one, it's called Mushroom with Eyes, right? Um, it's kind of a little bit, you know, if you ask me, it's a little bit odd, you know, you can just call this Strange Mushroom as well. If you want to make it specific, then, you know, the other one should also be specific. Like, let's say, um, you know, mushroom with, um, green mushroom with dotted um, spot, right? With spot, I guess. Uh, because, you know, as you can see over here, it has white spots, right? And then this is probably, you know, mushroom with glowing cap. Because this is yellow and it's glowing, right? Um, and then... This one, um, I don't know, mushroom with, um, I don't know, layers, I guess, layers of, I don't know, like, it looks like it has some kind of layers of that, then, um, I guess you can call it that, and then, um, this one you can call mushroom with, uh, purple spots or something like that, I don't know, um, and then this one probably, like, um, 
uh, this kind of reminds me of jellyfish for whatever reason uh you know like the the one from spongebob i guess the blue one i guess you can call this um jellyfish mushroom or something like that right um because you name this mushroom with i so might as well name the other one uh differently right but you know if you have this strange mushroom then i guess you can just call this strange mushroom as well anyway that's not really the case here it doesn't matter i don't really care but i just find it a little bit odd because eight of them are called the same but this one is different right so why is it like that uh, i was just curious right um so there are nine types the first one is the white one this is I call this strange mushroom usually by its color so you know this one is white this is red strange mushroom this is yellow strange mushroom this is green this is cyan this is blue this is purple this is black and this is just I call this mushroom with eyes just because you know it's named like that um, also they apparently don't have a description uh, let's actually take a look at the one in my inventory no they also don't have which is quite odd as well you know they don't have description right so i guess it's always nice uh, i have always i have said this many times by now it's always nice to have every item some sort of description like like this one uh deck out increases the shelf life of camp food and then the stand don't forget to take it down and take it with you right um but this one doesn't have any descriptions uh whatsoever so you know um I guess uh, if you need my help then I probably can uh, put a little bit description I guess but yeah um, it's just it looks nice if items have description but you know it's just for I guess for the uh, description of items I guess but yeah um, anyway now we will explain uh, all of these one by one the first one will be the white strange mushroom it gives 75 food, 75 water, however, it reduces your energy by minus 100. So, um, what scenario that you will need this, right? Uh, that's actually a quite interesting question, right? What scenario that you want your energy to be at minus 100? Well, um, I think I can see uh, how um i think if you sleep okay let's actually sleep um okay so if i sleep then i will um what is it like uh um oh, why is it like this i'm not entirely sure okay so i think it's for my energy i think i will drink coffee a little bit just to increase um my what is it called my energy bar okay let's actually try to sleep um, okay, here we go. Um, to replenish 26 energy, I will need uh, 48. Uh, no, I will need 74 of these, right? But what happens if I have no energy at all? Well, obviously, the, the amount will be increased, right? Um, but, you know, like, let's see if I want to eat it, right? Uh, where is it? Uh, this one. Um, what if I reduce my uh energy by 100 right it means that i will need even more food right so you know uh, when i sleep it means that i will drop even more food i will drop even more water and then probably um you know like uh well if i don't have any food or water then it will drop my health right so i think this one can be useful if you want to sleep i guess but also you want to uh, reduce your food and water but then again if you can see over here it has the food and water already right so yeah i'm kind of not sure what's the point or the purpose of this strange mushroom specifically um you know like especially the minus 100 right i guess that's not really the main thing that you will need i guess this is just to increase your uh, food and water right at the expense of your energy i guess um I guess if you have what is it called uh, I think there is food that can give you energy I'm not entirely sure if that's the case uh, still a thing or not uh, let's actually take a look over here uh, is there anything or any food that actually gives you energy uh, hardy food now doesn't give energy whatsoever I think there is one right uh, but what is it I kind of forgot let's actually take a look uh, this is just increasing maximum energy 
Uh, this one is not short speed. Nope. Headhunter. Nope. Uh, resistance, resistance. Scavenger. Okay. Nope. That. Not that. It well as well. Um. Okay. So apparently there is none. There is no food item or food buff that actually gives you energy. So yeah. Um. That's a bit unfortunate, right? Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I don't see, you know, I don't see any food, I guess, but uh, there is another one that can give you energy, which will be the Aqua Vite over here, uh, as you can see, effects per hour energy, right? Um, but it also gives you food and water as well already, so you kind of don't really need this, right? I guess this one is the one of the useless strange mushroom, I guess. Because, you know, you just increase your food and water, but you reduce your energy, right? So, it, you know, there is nothing really, what is it called? Like, synergy, right? There is not really any synergy or any use whatsoever if you have uh, energy low, I guess. Um, yeah, you cannot really do anything with energy at zero anyway. Um, so, the first one, the white strange mushroom, is useless, I would say. Next will be the second one, Strange Mushroom. This is actually my favorite. Um, this actually reduces your health point by 90 and then reduce your radiation points by 30. Uh, the one that I'm, you know, um, that I like the most is actually the health reduced by minus 90. Uh, then it's just why do you want your health uh, be reduced, right? Can you not, uh, I mean, die because eating, you know, uh, uh, for eating this Strange Mushroom? um yeah i can actually but uh you know the reason why i like that one is because polar armor uh, obviously right because if i have my hp at low then i will start dealing extra damage because of the berserk effect right so what i like to do is usually use this sterile bandage over here uh just apply and then i increase my health right in this case you know 95 um and then once I have 95, you know, um, I don't think there is any other stuff that actually reduce your HP um, that instantly, right? Um, you know, other than using the strange mushroom, I don't think so. So, yeah, there is no nothing, right? There is nothing. Uh, there is no item that actually drop your um, HP like the red strange, red strange mushroom. So just for that, uh, that's why this is what I like because you know, um, if you are about to do any sorts of combat, right? Like combat with bandits, then you probably want your HP at low, especially if you have polar armor with you, right? You want this extra damage at you know maximum, um, you know like at maximum stats, then you want to eat this, uh, let's eat, and just like that, my health is instantly dropped by 90, right? Uh, on top of that, it also reduces my radiation points, which is always nice, although, you know, it doesn't really matter, um, but it kind of matters, right? Um, it's always nice to have your radiations removed anyway, so this is like a bonus, I guess, but the main uh, use will be this, uh, health over here minus 90 just like that now i have 5 hp the the screen turns bloody red over here and then i have this damage uh from the berserk at 50 percent now you know that's like the maximum right the maximum extra damage that i can get um you know in this version anyway in this new version with polar armor so yeah this is actually you know i love this and then you know, uh, compare that, uh, I mean, pair that with these sterile bandits over here, which increase my health by 10, right? I can just, you know, if I want to increase my health, I can just use this for, you know, like, uh, quite a lot of time. Yeah, just like that. Now my screen is back to normal. And the way to get sterile bandits is also quite easy, I would say. It just requires three racks and one water. And that's about it. You get yourself one sterile bandage. You can also use other items as well, like um, healing self over here or the Bryocarm for, you know, instant health, right? Um, but I think, you know, it's kind of waste. Uh, I only use uh, healing self or Bryocarm 
only if I'm at 1 HP after any battle because you know I want to have my HP you know immediately right emergency so yeah um, because if I use this uh, healing self and prior card the effect took place instantly it takes place in instantly and then uh, if I use Terror Bandits, it kind of, yeah, just like that, right? There's a little bit of, um, you know, like, a delay, right? There's a loading screen, I guess. Yeah, just like that. Uh, it took about 5 uh, minutes or 5 seconds, I think. Yeah, 5 minutes, actually. Um, so, you know, if you're not careful, then you can die during those periods, right? Um, so, if that's the case, when I'm having 1 HP, then I will use Healing Self or prior car but just for healing you know uh casually healing then i will just use sterile bandits so yeah this is my favorite one just because the fact that i can reduce my health by great amount and you know that have that has you know that form synergy with the polar armor right so yeah and then the next one will be the yellow strange mushroom this is actually my favorite uh, last year the fact is that it has two effects over here the first one being it giving you 300 energy you know that's actually a lot of energy and it is actually quite i would say quite broken if you ask me because you know i can just eat it right now right and then yeah just like that i have 400 energy and for the energy is actually great you know especially when you're looting right looting cities or if you want to craft something um, or, you know, if you want to do travel in general, right, you will need energy and, you know, you just eat one of these and not have, not having to worry about your energy for, you know, some time, right, because it will, uh, took, you know, some time to exhaust all this energy, right, so that's actually nice, um, that's the first one, the second one over here, as you can see, uh, this is quite, uh, unique i think this is the only strange mushroom that has uh, crafting and this will be a uh, toxic lamb uh, the first one uh, it requires strange mushroom three of them to be exact to be specific as you can see over here you will need three and then you will need nine sugar and then you will need one dirty water this is also uh, you know one of those rare cases where dirty water is quite useful so uh, you can use dirty water to make clean water obviously and then you can also use dirty water to make bone glue you know using this uh, bone as well as the fish you can use the dirty water to make bone glue but uh, back then you kind of you know like um, this is quite uh, unique right because this is you know specifically need dirty water and you cannot I think uh, you cannot use a uh, clean water to make this a uh, toxic lamp over here um, in fact uh, I believe when toxic water is still you know was still around uh, this was I believe toxic water so it will be strange mushroom yellow a uh, yellow strange mushroom sugar and then toxic water but since toxic water got removed now it got changed to just dirty water right so it becomes uh, toxic lamb still um, and not dirty lamb I guess uh, it's still toxic lamb nonetheless um, the juice of yellow mushrooms mixed with radioactive water produces enough light for searching at night search success plus 10 percent and the fact about this uh, let's actually craft one yeah just like that uh, the fact about this is that you can uh, actually replenish this so this is quite um what is it called like an uh, infinite light source uh, you know you can say that the reason why is because you can actually repair this you know just mix this and then you can um, repair this to 100 durability as well and it's also quite unique because you will need sugar right for the fuel so yeah there's that um you don't need any more yellow strange mushroom to repair this you just need the sugar and that's about it um although you know the search success is only 10 percent i think this is quite like uh, what is it called collector's item i would say uh, people actually collect this myself included i really love this as you can see i only have 20 right now right while the other as at uh, 80s right um so yeah that kind of explains uh itself right i'm using this i was you know i've been i've been using this strange mushroom to make toxic lamb and i guess just keep it myself or just give it to people i guess um 
so yeah toxic lime it used to be my favorite uh, but not anymore now my favorite is now the red one just because it can reduce your hp instantly um and then yeah this is yellow one so these two are useful right and then this one is kind of useless i guess and now the fourth one will be this one strange mushroom uh green strange mushroom this kind of reminds me of broccoli but not really but you know you can kind of see how it you know kind of similar or look like broccoli right um yeah uh, anyway, Strange Mushroom, this one is also useful because it instantly gives you health by 150, so this is actually quite nice as well. Um, I'm not gonna eat that, I don't think. Uh, well, actually, let's eat. Uh, I guess we have 115, right? Uh, let's eat. Uh, yeah, it's instantly as well, right? The effect is instant, as you can see. Um, my health is in you know immediately or instantly get replenished by 150 so you know you can also you know apart from using uh, healing self or prayer card then you can just eat this and have your health um, instantly increase by 150 so this is actually also kind of overpowered in my opinion um, you know if especially if you're a new player or low level player right uh, sometimes you got encountered by bandits or strong animals and you cannot um, What is it like you cannot fight them properly, right? And then you're left with one HP every combat um, And you know, you're almost die right and you can use this I guess just eat this and it will increase your Health by 150 right although it gives you radiation, but radiation is not that uh, bad actually I have 100 now let's take a look at my health okay uh, this is mild radiation sickness um, the effect will be mischance by 10% search speed minus 20 carry weight minus 20 and maximum action points by minus 1 but you know this is kind of I would say what is it like a mild right yeah I mean it's called mild radiation sickness anyway so um, it's not that bad I would say but yeah um, so there you go, this is the fourth one, I would say quite useful as well. And then the fifth one will be the Cyan Strange Mushroom. Um, this is quite interesting as well because these greatly increase your food bar, I mean water bar by 400. Um, you know, I guess that's kind of the same as this one, as you know, this one greatly increase your health by 150. And then this one greatly increase your uh, water by 400. Although it also gives you 50 radiation points, but I guess that, you know, the, that's like um, not really, uh, you know, a thing, right? And you can actually combo this one as well with, uh, what is it, which one? Yeah, this one, the Strange Mushroom. So, you know, you, you want to travel or loot cities, right? And then you just eat this, instantly giving you 300 energy. You can also eat this and instantly giving you 400 water, right? I guess what we're lacking now is food, right? And I think there is actually one that gives you food, uh, but you know, uh, I guess we'll have to check out. So this is also useful. So out of five strange mushrooms so far, four are useful, and the first one is not so useful, right? Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, next will be the sixth one, which is the blue strange mushroom. This one uh, increase your food by 100, but it kind of removed your water by minus 100 now i would say that this is kind of useless i would say like um generally speaking you kind of have a lot of food right in fact there's actually a lot of food that you can eat to increase your food bar you know like um yeah there is a lot of things you can eat fish you can eat uh you know cook animals meat you can eat any sort of food right let's take a look at the, my inventory you can eat this jam uh pickled vegetables stew meat you know uh condensed milk uh boiled condensed milk um sausage i guess and you know there's just too many stuff that you can eat right uh, but they don't really give you a lot of uh, water so you know in this case water is quite um, rare right and the only thing that you can in you know use to increase your water will be you know clean water Pepsi and then that's about it I guess oh surprisingly and then coffee as well right 25 as well um, but yeah 
there are a lot of food that can give you food power but there are not so many water source that can give you um, or drink that can give you uh, water uh, power right so you know this one I would say quite useless because you can just um, eat any food you know and not having the water reduced like that as well but in this case you only get 100 food but you lost a uh, 100 water which is not efficient in my opinion because again like there are a lot of food that can give you food power but not so many drinks that can give you water power and that's about it um and then this is the sixth one strange mushroom this is also quite interesting uh this is far more useful than the blue one because this actually increase your food and water as well so it's kind of you know uh both of them right it increase your food and water as well also give you radiation so i mean that's i mean you know it's not really a problem because also apparently you can reduce your radiation points by npc you know like um this npc over here the chelia pinsk npc or any npc in general there are nerds that can actually what is it like um heal or remove your radiation points right so it shouldn't be a problem you can just eat a lot of this stuff you know this one give you 50 this one give you 50 uh this one also give you 50 and then this one give you 30 and then you can just shake off all those uh, radiation points in the nurse right in the nursery um so yeah this is also useful in my opinion um and then the next one will be this one uh, the black one black strange mushroom it also reduce your energy by uh, i mean it reduce your health by 50 but increase your energy by 100 so this one is quite interesting this is also i like this uh the same as the red strange mushroom because you know it reduce your hp in uh, you know instantly right but the problem with this is that you cannot really eat this if you have you know um a lot of energy you know like if you have 150 above you will not be able to eat this because as you can see i'm not tired right um so you cannot really eat that but um compared to the red one this you can eat this infinitely even with uh zero radiation points you can still eat this um which is interesting right uh let's actually try this again i will eat this as you can see now 20 let's eat another one now i'm at zero right uh, i will heal myself first before i actually eat the last one uh, because i don't want to die and yeah um where is it uh, uh this one right and then you know i have zero radiation right i can eat this again and it still works it still increased my uh what is it uh, my health basically right so yeah there you go um Although, you know, this one is not as good as the red one, I still like this uh, for the fact that, you know, sometimes I go looting and I kind of need energy, right? And then I have this and I can just eat this black mushroom, I guess, just to replenish energy. I also can just drink my coffee because I have a lot of them, but, you know, this is also uh, an option, right? Especially if you are, again, if you don't have any, you know, coffee or something like that that can give you energy right 100 energy is actually quite a lot um in fact if you take a look at your inventory like stuff like this one energizing potion this was this used to be 100 but it got reduced to 75 i believe and then now it also got dropped to 60 and then you know pepsi is only 20 and then uh what else like coffee only 30 and then uh jam give you 40 um what else i think lydia's side yeah and then the medicines right this is even this is also giving you uh this also gives you 75 only 75 um yeah that's not a lot right and then the smokes or cigarettes gives you 10 and then cuban cigar uh gives you 100 uh this is also nice but you know um i would say that the mushroom actually is more easier to get then the cuban cigar and then you know the cigarettes only gives you 20 so you know this is actually quite nice to you know have energy increase by a lot in this case 100 right um the other item as you can see is only cuban cigar right 
that gives you 100 as well as the aqua vitae as well i believe uh yeah this one also gives you 100 but it's a little bit overkill right uh because it kind of basically this is like um yeah like uh, i guess this is a potion of health right like it increases your health water energy reduce your uh, radiation or you can just use alpha salon as well this alpha salon actually resets everything it resets your health uh, to maximum as well as the food as well water energy and then your radiation is at zero as well as removing all of your uh, injuries and diseases which is uh, always nice but that kind of stuff is a little bit too overkill in my opinion and you can just eat this black strange mushroom as well as the um what is it the cuban seeger right uh for replenishing energy so yeah this is kind of useful um so yeah uh so far eight of them and we have one and two uh no this one two useless mushroom now we are at the last one which is mushroom with eyes so this one is quite interesting this is basically the counterpart of this one the cyan one the cyan one as you can see it gives you 400 water right and then this one gives you 400 uh, food which is again nice right um especially if you want to loot cities if you want to do travel or something like that so you know the combo will be eating um this one a uh, yellow stretch mushroom for energy and then uh green for health and then cyan for 400 water and then the mushroom with eyes for 400 uh, food so you know you're stacked up basically with this one two three and four uh this one you can basically make yourself your own aqua vitae right um or you know alpha salon in this case it just you know instantly gives you all this stuff right um this one you know again like yellow uh, green cyan and mushroom with eyes those four is basically equivalent equivalent to alpha Ceylon or um aqua vitae right uh, but yeah that's about it i guess um and oh this one actually doesn't give you food but it still gives you food effect per hour anyway so yeah i guess that's even better than aqua vitae then uh but yeah so yeah this this is also useful in my opinion for travel looting or you know yeah just like that right long travel or looting cities in general and you got yourself those stuff now those are all the nine strange mushroom i would say my favorite will be the red strange mushroom uh, personally because this reduce your health uh, instantly so you don't have to worry about reducing your health right you can just eat this and have your health at low as well as uh, allowing your polar armor to work right to get the maximum uh, effect which is the 50% uh, extra damage by the berserk perk um, so yeah and then uh, the two useless that I dislike will be this one the white one white strange mushroom and blue strange mushroom because this uh, increase your food but decrease your water which is you know any food will just basically do the same giving you food without lowering your water right and then this one um again this you know depletes your energy which you don't really need right i mean you know you there's not really a lot of uh, cases where you you know you need energy uh, at zero right um and then the fact that it only gives you 75 of uh, food and water any other food and water can just do the same right without having the minus 100 so yeah all those nine uh two useless and um one favorite four of them forming a combo and then the two will be okay i guess this one is okay not as great as the red one the black one i mean not as great as the red one and the purple is just there for you know i guess it's just there right you can eat this first and then you eat the other four right um it firstly you will get 100 and then you know you're at 100 right and then you can start eating these 400 ones and you will be at 500 uh food and water which is you know it forms a little bit of synergy as well right but yeah anyway that's all about strange mushroom um i guess there's a lot of stuff right we covered uh, how to obtain them how to use them as well and what potentially you know their 
purpose will be right like there is a lot of stuff and then you know like this one also can give you toxic lamb as well but yeah uh seven out of nine are useful two out of nine are useless and i think that's kind of balanced in my opinion because you know you can't really have all of them having uh, benefits right some of them should have not right just to balance things out because you know i guess two out of nine being useless is quite you know like quite okay right like the other seven are you know just as you know much more great than the useless ones but yeah i think that'll be it for today's episode about breaking down all the strange mushroom i hope you guys enjoy it um this has been the art survival video uh subscribe if you haven't already if you enjoy this kind of content about me explaining stuff about the art survival or you know i also don't always do the art survival videos in general sometimes you know not sometimes i actually do a lot of stuff as well in this channel so you know this is not the art survival channel this is just my channel right i do anything i want over here sometimes i play games sometimes i do podcast well actually i do podcast every day now um sometimes i read uh, review recipes and you know other stuff as well but yeah uh, until then thank you guys much for watching stay so stealthy i will see you again very soon and see ya